Hello, in this video I want to show you a method of making silver where you will be able to earn millions in just a days. I am using this method uh, and I made tons of silver with that, so now I want to teach you how to do the same as I. Also, I want to invite you to my Discord server too, where you can find many money making methods, guides and giveaways. Link will be in the description. Why you should craft food? Because the profit can be calculated very easily. You don't need much silver to start with. Food is being sold very fast, so that's very cool too. I started my journey with crafting, with crafting food. So I made some calculations, what is profitable, what is not, how to spec it up as fast as possible, etc, etc. So if I made so much silver on crafting food, you can too. As you know, the most important thing in crafting food are specs. The higher specs you will have, the more silver you will earn. I'm full spec in crafting food and I can make about 30 million silver per 3 days easily. That's 300 million silver per month, only with crafting food. And imagine that you can do other stuff when your food will be selling on the market. Crafting food won't take much time and it's definitely worth it. So how to spec up your specialization in crafting food? As you can see, my specs in crafting food are just complete. Everything is 100. And to, uh, for example, if you want to max out your specs in crafting uh, stews, all you need to do is, is just go to Carleon, because in Carleon you got bonus for crafting food. Craft, I will show you when to, what do you need to craft. Just craft. Uh, here as many beef stews as possible and then just sell all of them on the market in Carleon. You will probably lose a little bit of silver but you will get a lot of specs for that. That's the first way you can spec up your uh, specialization. The second way is how you can do it just craft, uh, craft again as many beef stews as possible but then instead of selling them you can just study them to get the fame. This, uh, this way of uh, specialization is a little, uh, not a little, it's way faster, it's way, way faster, but you will lose a lot of silver. Uh, I was doing this like, uh, like this, the second way, where, where I studied all the food, and to get 100 specs this way, I spent around 70 million silver, but I got all of those specs to 100 in like 3 weeks. So that was very fast and after getting those specs you can earn easily like uh, 300 million silver. And second thing, uh, what if you can't craft 8 tier uh, food because you have this spec here that you need to get those levels to craft higher tiers foods so just to start uh, craft some uh, gold stew then study this all you will get higher levels then you can craft mutton stew uh, again study it all or sell on the market and uh, so on and so on and another thing how to know what to craft to earn as much silver as possible. This website toolsfulrbion.com will help you a lot to check out uh, what to craft. You just need to go to this tab crafting then crafting profitability. Uh, let's say I'm in Martlock, the market tax is 4.5, usage fee is around 80% uh, price don't uh, price average uh, none return rate will do this with focus so 45% category consumables subcategory cooked and just show you can sort by profit and as you can see the most profitable probably will be beef sandwich 8.1 uh, beef stew 8.2 and beef stew 8.1 to check even better what to craft let's 
uh, say for example that water is to 8.2 you can click here and here you can see all the costs that uh, you will need to pay to craft this and how much profit you will get per one crafted item uh, just set this box up that uh, this means that you will use focus uh, the prices are probably automatically input and we want to craft like 100 of them with usage fee of 80% as you can see the profit is 2 million 2 million of 108.2 dead water is to craft it in the description I will also link your spreadsheet uh, for crafting food which should help you a little and uh, I will learn you how to use that spreadsheet here you have the prices of the materials that are used in crafting foods just uh, write the prices go to the market check the prices and write them down here uh, here we got how much focus you need to spend on uh, each food just go to the crafting station uh, check how much focus you need to uh, craft one potato salad point uh, enchantment point zero uh, and so on and so on and then go to the market and check the prices of each food and write them here and if you will do this you will just get your uh, total profits here and you will know what to craft how to earn even more it's important to say that to earn that much monthly you will need to craft high tier foods like 0.2 or 0.3 but you are able to do so much silver even with lower tier foods to craft enchanted foods you will need fish sauces this what i will say now is true key for making millions out of crafting food if you are still watching this film at this moment you're lucky because you will get to know mass of useful informations from where the true profit comes, from fish sauces and the place where you are crafting your foods. If you will know how to get the fish sauces the cheapest possible and you will craft your food in cork places, you will be able to earn as much as it is possible. You need to craft fish sauces by yourself because then they will be the cheapest. Just set by orders for some chopped fish uh, or fishes from you can get chopped fish and set by orders for seaweed now where you should craft your food the best idea would be crafting them in carleon because there you have a bonus for crafting food the usage fee in carleon isn't uh, so big too so this would be a great idea But there is one more place where you can craft your food. The hideouts in black zones. I'm in Arch, my main city is Martlock, and in the black zone maps from Martlock there is a hideout where usage fee is very low and percentage of materials return is very high. Going there can be a little dangerous, but if you will know how to do it, uh, there will be literally no risk. If you want to craft in black zones, just get the materials, teleport to black zone, use the Envy shrine and go directly to your hideout. If you will want to go back, do the same. Wait for bubble, go through map, use the shrine and go back to teleport. And there is one more important thing when crafting food. You can't craft only one type of food because it will flood the market with it. Remember to craft different types of food to sell them as fast as possible. That's all in this video. I hope you have learned something and you will start making tons of silver with crafting food. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a subscription and a like. If you would want to see more of content like that, just leave a comment with a suggestions. That's all. Bye. See you in the next one.